Hey everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use Rufus to fetch a Windows ISO image without having to go to Microsoft's website and download it from there. So once you have Rufus downloaded you just run it and it comes up like this. And you can see right now it's giving you the option to select an ISO image which normally when you click this you have to go browse for an image that you've downloaded such like example that one right there as for Zorn OS which is a build of Linux but there is more functionality that you can unlock in Rufus so what I gotta do is go here and you can see right now the option for check for updates is disabled Let's just turn that to uh, set it to daily. And select close. We'll close this out and we'll relaunch it. And now, if you look here, you can see there is now a down arrow next to select. You can actually now download an ISO image. So select download. And now you have the option to choose the version of Windows you would like. You can choose from Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 7, and these two UFI shells. But there's more. So for example, let's say if we want Windows 11, we'll click continue. may take a moment. Now you have the option to choose the build that you want. So if for some reason you don't want 22H2, you want to actually use 21H2, you can select it. So for example, if we go back, if we go to Windows 10, hit continue. You can see we have all these different builds to choose from all the way back to 1507 which was the original build of Windows 10 from 2015 and of course there is 1511 as well you got 1607, 1703, 1709, 1803, 1809 release 1, 1809 release 2 there are actually two, well there's actually three releases of 1809 which 1809 had an issue after release with uh, somehow deleting your files I, tried, I think I have a video up on the channel about that but you can see there's um, well the guy I'm here listed as 19H1, 19H2 but it was 1903, 1909 and then in 2020 they officially adopted um, the H1, H2 numbering with H2 because we had 2004 and then we had 20H2. As so you see, all these different builds that we have. So with Windows 10, you have a lot of options. So I'm gonna hit back. What about Windows 8.1? We have just one option for Windows 8.1 and Windows 7. Let's see what we have for Windows 7. We have just Windows 7 with SP1. So, with Windows 10 and Windows 11, you definitely have a lot of options to choose from. But if you want to get Windows 8 and Windows 1 or Windows 7, you can get those here as well. So it's very convenient. So all you have to do is just select your build. We'll go back to Windows 10 or Windows 11, for example. And you would select the build. Let's say 22H2. Let's say continue. Then you would get the option to choose the addition. So if we go back to Windows 7, for example, 
you can choose a course between Ultimate Professional and Home Premium. And then what it would do is then you would choose your language. So we'll choose English US since we're in the US. And then what it's going to do is it's going to ask you for architecture, which of course one is 11, it's just 64 bit, but with older versions than one is, you have 64 bit and 32 bit. So it gives you the option to download with the browser, or you can hit download. And then what you would do is you would save your download to wherever, like your downloads folder. So in this video, I'm not going to be actually writing an ISO to a USB drive, though I do have. A video talking about how to do just that. So I wanted to do the supplement video to my previous video, um, the basics of Rufus, because I think it's very convenient how you can download an ISO image for Windows directly from Rufus. And let's say for example if you're looking for an old ISO image, like for example an old build of Windows 10 or an older build of Windows 11, you can do it right inside of Rufus. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that wraps up for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to Kukun channel and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also I recommend following Kukun company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.